What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Ending the week out strong here. Hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, I ended up with a couple more sales today. I think two. Just make sure I get it right. But uh, total, I have 14 this weekend to box up. Get that out. Uh, make sure my window is okay. Uh, one, two. I sold two today. I sold a ton yesterday. Yesterday was my big day. Uh, Saturday. So got all that. I listed all the rest of my hats last night. Uh, the haul I showed you last night, I did not get that up. So I listed two of the three stops I did uh, after the show. And then uh, I'm going to list those Peter Millars I showed you. Get those up tonight. And then try and work on some of the bins haul. I'm going to show you here shortly. Donna was first. How's it going? Audrey, Charlotte. Charlotte, I sent over an invite to the fantasy football group. Zircon, what's up? Joey, Scott. Scott, I like your new name. Liquidation Lounge, what's going on? Darren, Darren's back. Vanguard Endeavor HT82A. Never heard of that. How much does it sell for? All right, and the other thing I want to show you is I'm going to show you my new inventory setup. I moved some stuff around and uh, show you what it looks like. Liquidation Lounge, 14-2. Did eBay flip the switch? I think they did. Hey, John, what's up? Hey, Debbie. All right, so what I picked up today. I paid $42 and probably a couple bucks. The kids bought some toys. I can't <laughs> – they find stuff now all the time. Uh, I forget who the number one pick was. Wasn't uh, it wasn't David Johnson? It was Levon Bell. Bell was the uh, the number one, so you got him. All right. So this thing's super heavy, and what happened was she saw it in my cart as I was went to go check out. The cashier said, "Hold on, let me take this out." She put it on the scale and told me it was going to be eighteen dollars, and I was going to say that's fine, but she goes, "Let me call manager over." Usually with the larger priced items. Uh, they'll give you a better price on them. So they ended up giving it to me for $4.99, which was awesome. So I got $4.99 for this. I'll show you what it is here shortly. Um, let's see if I have the right side here. There we go. So it is a Brunswick bowling. It's almost like a travel rolling bag. You can fit three bowling balls in here. Hey, Michelle. Uh, it's got a Pouches on the side. It has all the zippers. You can see there. It has the wheels on it, and it stands up like this. Uh, I thought it was really cool. It's called the Blitz Three Bag. They have Blitz Twos as well that aren't don't sell as much. The Threes. I found one that sold. I think it was for. I think it was over eighty. It was. I think it was eighty five, ninety five bucks. But uh, I think brand new is over a hundred. Uh, I didn't look too much at it, but I saw that it was up there. So Scott, I'll probably I'll have to ship this UPS or FedEx depending on the uh, what it'll fit in, but I'm probably have to ship it that way. It I say it only it only weighs eight pounds. Now I did add track or not tracking. This is a priority calculated shipping item. So and I'll show you the inside. Pretty cool. I've never even uh, seen or have never even thought about purchasing this. So this was one of the the new items, and I'm like kind of to Scott's point. Some things are just so big that I don't pick them up. Charlotte's is selling first local. That's true. So there's the bowling ball holders. It's got three. And it straps them in. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, what's it called? Pretty intense for a bowling bag. Ship it in a poly bag. Ship it in the box. Your padded flat red nose come in. Yeah, that's true. I could do that. I I get that with every eBay purchase I get now. Everyone's using them. But oh well. All right, so I bought that. That was four ninety nine. Uh, three big Dyson to sell. Two are new. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a serious bowler. That's not just a bowling with the the work team. That's uh, I play in four leagues and need to have three balls. Frankenstein it. Uh, I'll show you a couple things I picked up. Now, you guys know I like hats. I picked up these permanent markers for myself, off-brand permanent markers. Try that. Uh, a couple hats. A couple cool hats that are brand new. Uh, inaugural year of the Florida Panthers. Let me throw this over here. That's already listed. So I, I tend to gravitate towards the hats at the bins. 
I have no idea what this is. Piper Cub. Anyone knows what that is? But uh, again, this one has never been worn. That one, what else? Uh, Memorial Tournament. That's a big golf tournament. I show you guys that a lot. I get that. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I need to, it looks a little dusty, but it says, I fly the leader, Sikorsky S76, Mark the second. So, oh, that's right. Piper Cub. It's an airplane. Thanks, Chris. Uh, so that I think will go sell really well. Again, it looks like maybe someone's worn it a couple times, but nothing. What percentage of my hats sell? Uh, let's just say I'm buying more than I'm selling at this point. Uh, I probably sell between two and five a week. Uh, it all depends, though, right? Um, I'll show you when we go over there. I'll show you my hats. Sold my first hat, 24, 24 bucks. Oh, you sold the Hawaii trucker hat. Nice. Awesome. See, but then you hit on one and you, you it's basically a good find. If you, if you can hit one out of 10, uh, especially from the bins, you'll get, uh, you'll have a nice return. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Piper Cub is a small yellow airplane retired radio guy. Nice. Neil Bortz flies one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so anything airplane, boats, uh, if you can find that stuff, like I have a couple boat polo shirts, list those hot. Uh, yes, there, uh, Scott, I bought them cheap. Hey, Pac-Man. Uh, usually my hats are $1.99 from the thrift store. From the bins like that, they're, it's negligible. Uh, what else? All right, I got this. No idea what this is. It's a mission hat. It looked like brand new still with the tag. I haven't looked it up. I just threw it in there. It's almost like a, uh, what's it called? Endure Cool. I'll throw it up there. I sell some of the weirdest stuff from the bins. Uh, this one here, ESPN, an old old logo it had, ESPN logo. So I threw this in there. It was sealed. Figured why not. Darren loves his DVDs. Bucket hat, that's right. Bucket hat. They want $4? Oh, I wouldn't buy half $4 unless I knew it would sell for 30 Some of those chain, I wouldn't, those hats I just showed you, I wouldn't touch them for 4 bucks. Uh, oh, yeah. My daughter ended up picking some stuff and threw it in the cart, and I checked out, and I'm like, who, who threw this in my cart? It was her throwing stuff in there. Hey, Kiki Mom, what's going on? All right, I threw a pair of these. I've My wife had a pair of these, and I sold them. Jag jeans. It's kind of hard to see. But I picked them up. I believe they're maternity pants. I don't know, but the, the stretchy kind. I have no idea, but... Uh, very clean condition. I only pick up certain brands of, of jeans. Uh, Homage is a local shirt company. Pick those up. Thank you for being a friend. They're really soft. If you're ever from Col or go to Columbus, pick them up. Junk Trader, how's it going? How much for the haul? The haul was $42. Uh, this one, I anything beer or brewing I pick up. Uh, this is a Dicky shirt. And it's Summit Brewing Company. So it's a short sleeve button up. Kind of see that there. Summit Brewing. Uh, anything with beer on it, I can't pass it up. Usually it sells as 2XL. So the, hey Mike, what's going on? The, uh, those type of shirts tend to sell well. Now this is the only, the bins are the only place I'll pick up polos that are unbranded. I picked up a Nike, Nike Golf. Unbranded. You can at least get 10 to 15 for it. I'm going to list it high, $14.99. Uh, but pretty much, I would never buy this in the thrift store for 4 bucks. Uh, Pac-Man, calculator that doesn't work. I figured I'd check the case and found it worth $50, $59. Awesome. Mission hat, new on Amazon, is $29.99. Yeah, that, thanks, Scott. Uh, cooling technology hat. It did have the EnduraCool on it. So I felt it was really light and it had the sticker on it. So some of those that stuff, when I'm at least at the bins, I'll just throw it in there. And then I keep mental notes of that sort of thing when I'm going to the thrift store. And I add that to my uh, mental logo list to look for. Hey, Tammy. Uh, Barry, no, this is uh, Goodwill Bins. I got this uh, $1.59 a pound. Junk, you'll be able to find some good stuff in Sandus Sandusky, I bet. Uh, another homage shirt. 
Pelotonia. I don't know if that'll sell. Some lacrosse shirt shorts from a local uh, team. I don't know if I might keep those myself. Zircon at three Mercari sales. Mercari has been really slow for me. I need to get back in the habit of posting that. I did not stick to my goal of posting cross posting to Mercari a lot. Uh, I need to get back on that. Now I'm not too sure of shirts, but I saw a Star Wars shirt. Star Wars branded. Uh, who knows? I don't know if it could be from Target or some random place, but I threw it in there and said I'd look it up later. Uh, Barry, I sell these on eBay. Uh, eBay, I'll put them on Mercari. I'll put them on Poshmark. Um, or locally, depending on the size. Like, that's a great idea. I think Charlotte said it to put it locally. I got to try and put it locally. Uh, I picked up a couple more shirts for myself. Another marathon shirt. Uh, I wore my, I don't know if you guys remember, I picked up that uh, Tough Mudder shirt, and someone asked me today, because I wore it to my soccer game today, and they said, oh, you did that one in Pittsburgh, didn't you? I said, no. I, I bought this through my cart. They laughed at me. Uh, I picked this up. I did look it up. Global Hackathon, the wicking shirt. It's kind of cool. If I don't keep it for myself, I'll list it. Uh, it has some code on the front. But... It's recently, this was in June 28th of 18. This, I picked this up. I don't know why people leave jerseys there, but then again, this is a Coliseum brand. If you guys can find the, the Coliseum logo, it's hit or miss on some of them, but I usually will buy them every time. A Duke a basketball jersey. Kind of cool. And again, for being white, no stains on it, which I was quite surprised. Uh, kid shirt. Uh, I picked this up because it was brand new with the tags. Uh, it is, this brand does really well for me. Greg Norman. Let's see. It's the play dry. Sorry if you can hear the lights kind of jacked up on it. I don't know the logo on the front here, but on the side, it's the Bridgestone Invitational and there's a little scuff right there, but, uh, super small shirt. It's a women's shirt. So I'm probably, it's probably going to stay up forever. Picked up a remote. I always find uh, Sony remotes. Got that. Uh, does that work? No, new batteries. All right. So for those of you that don't know, you can use your uh, phone or any video, put batteries in it, and the light will come on on the front. That's how I test my remotes. That's the only way I test them. Uh, Under Armour shorts. These sell instantaneously. Between $10 and $15, I'll put them up. But when I put them up, they don't last. And these are just simple shorts, simple shorts with the Under Armour logo. So if you see these, pick them up. I usually won't pick up other brands, maybe Nike and Adidas, but that's Under Armour is usually my go-to. Uh, Liquidation Lounge has been collecting small kitchen appliances. Wow. Going to have a gigantic garage sale. Yeah, that stuff will sell. Garage sale will sell real fast. I mean, for me, tools. Tools are some things people buy. I give them a good price and they buy it. So I've been half tempted to buy a large tool lot. Uh, another, uh, what's this, Youth Small. Some of them sell, some of them don't, but uh, I said, why not? So the new item was the bowling ball bag, and that's what I showed in the clothes. I uh, got uh, not, not a lot of hard goods today. Zircon, yeah, get your eBay limit upped. Definitely, if you're even if you haven't... Uh, Use it all, try and get it up. I mean, try and get your sales up, I mean, L limits. Do you know how I can find things with a lot of stuff for business? Uh, what are you looking for? What types of items is a be better question to ask. You can go liquidation, but that's a risk. Uh, you can go thrifting. I'm trying to think what else. Um, there's many different channels you can go down. all depends on what you want to get and how much you're willing to spend. Sorry. Misha mom's texting me. All right, so last thing I want to show you guys, I spent a lot of work uh, before the show, clothes and electronics. Uh, after the show, I did a lot of uh, work on my clothes. Since I have enough invested in clothes now, uh, I'm going to show you um, how I set it up and where I got them from. I got a whole bunch of new racks, uh, hangers. If, if you want hangers, go to Walmart. They're $1.97. You can get 18 of them which is awesome because Meyer had like a pack of 20 for five bucks. 
So definitely, I think Walmart's the cheapest place, unless anyone else has. Uh, found hangers pretty cheaply. Yeah, new hats at the bins are great. Uh, Barry, I have a link down below, liquidation.com. You can start looking through there. Uh, I do have a new with tags supplier I'm trying to get on. Uh, they have, uh, but it's it's high price because it's it's high end merchandise. Tammy Dean, how's it going? Oh yeah, you went thrifting with George this weekend. Uh, do you find that women's athletic clothing are harder to pick because they seem really tired out? The men's are easier to spot. Uh, for me, the women's athletic clothes are kind of hit or miss. Um, but in terms of being uh, more used than others, I haven't noticed a difference. Uh, I will pick up women's stuff only if it's specific to brand like Reebok, CrossFit, Under Armour, depending on the Nike golf stuff. But I don't tend to dabble in a lot of uh, uh, women's clothing. Liquidation Lounge is a new rule. For every return, I will be listing five more. That's great because you want to pay for that return, right, and actually be become profitable. That's a great idea. Two eBay sales. Nice blessed kicks. William Sound Podcast, 105. Wow. Shaving cream, the art of shaving, $2 to 20. That's awesome. All right. I always feel weird going through the women's stuff. Yeah, I, I walk through there and I start looking and I'm waiting. The lady knows me at the register, right? Because she says, oh, you guys, you find a lot of nice things. I'm waiting to come for my first armful with women's clothes. She seems like, what are you doing? Uh, have you sold any of the new jerseys I purchased, John? Yes, I did. I sold one of my extra large Colorado Avalanche. Got that uh, sold. That's one of uh, 12. So I have 11 more to go. A little slower moving. I priced them a little higher just because they're brand new with tags and still in the plastic. So I will let them sit. And hockey season hasn't started yet. Uh, so I, I set those high. Uh, I do buy it now. So buy it now is good to canceled. That's all I do. If something has been sitting for a while, I'll do auctions. But I, used, I when I first started, I did every all auctions, and it was uh, I hated going back in and relisting. That was, I mean, for me now that I, I'm almost at 1,100 listings, I couldn't imagine. I know people do do this, but they will uh, sell similar or relist their items. I don't do that. I do all buy it now. Uh, money is money. That is true, Pac Man. That's true. That's why when I buy a couple of nice things, I still take them. Uh, what book did I sell on Amazon? It was something that had sat out there for a while. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, it was some like, uh, shoot. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. See if I can pull it up real fast. Technology Strategy for Managers and Entrepreneurs. It's 2008. And details. Let's see if I can show you a picture. Oh, let me show you the picture. Crap. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a uh, managers and entrepreneurs. Go figure, right? You have almost 1,100 items and you work full time. Yeah, work full time. Get the kids on the bus at 7.30. Go to work from 8 to 5. Uh, get home. Play with the kids for a little bit. Make dinner. Put them to bed by try to do 7.30, 8 o'clock. And then I kind of relax between by the time they go to bed, 8.45, and then the show. And then I'll list till about 1, 2 a.m. eBay started me with 1,000 listings. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, Cindy, get them up. Just get them up. Uh, I always think get your items up, get the listing active, and go back and edit it if you really need to. Um, and then for those of you that are asking, it looks like you're pretty new to the channel, but uh, once I hit 250 listings, it's kind of where I saw my daily. Uh, I bought a basic store, and I saw my. I had, that's where I was getting my one daily sales. Joey would love to see a picture. Shoot those pictures. Out. I'll show you my inventory here. There were these two kids running it. They had nothing I wanted, but they did such a good job trying to sell the stuff. There you go. I like going to those when people are really nice to you, and you see something, you know, help them out. All right, let me show you over here. Yeah, I'm a night owl. Last night, I think I went to bed at 1.30. It's usually 1.30, 1, 1, 1.30, because I still have to ship a lot tonight. So let me show you over here. All right, let me flip you around. So if you remember, 
I had, I moved some stuff down here. I had all my polos kind of stacked by size. Now I have everything set up that, uh, so let me try and get this here. So now I have a clothing racks. So they're double, they're too high. There's a, a, a rack down there and a rack up top. It's on wheels. And they're at Walmart. They're only uh, $13. So I bought one, two, I bought two of those. Bought one more right there. And then I bought this one. This one's kind of cool. So it's got the hang stuff. And then I put all my bags right here. So all my bags are slid in there. Uh, all the sweatshirts up top. I am going to buy another one of these. So what's nice about these is I put, so up here, these are all, so I, I these are all extra large. These are all large. Over there is small and then medium on the bottom. Sports jerseys and newest tags there. But I'm going to get another one of these just because I have a bunch more sports jerseys and T-shirts right there. I got to get those up. So I have kind of just enough room to sneak in between here. I put four items. Yeah, so I had this one here. And I used to, uh, it fell so many times, I had way too much stuff on it. But uh, this here, so yeah, it's been, it's so far it hasn't fallen over. The single rack, the single, or the the single one pole, two poles, it's, it does pretty well. Uh, let's see. Seen the Bargain Hunter game the other day at Goodwill. Yeah, I picked that up. I have it listed for pretty high. I think it's like 40 bucks or 50 bucks. I have it up there. Mall Madness, the old style Mall Madness. I have that. Got that from the bins. If you can find Jumanji, it sells pretty high, but it takes a while. These are pretty slow moving, but I put my games up there. Uh, oh, my hats. So you guys asked about my hats. How, much ha how many hats I buy? So I need to get a better system, but you can see I kind of do flat build here. That should be over there. There's more of the bent ones there. And I'm visors and those up there, but I, I need to do better on the hats. That's how I do them. So what else do I have up here? Ties, I have a tie spot, video game spot, Wii spot over there, Wii games. And then uh, some blue lot stuff down there that still, still hasn't sold. So I really like the clothing racks. I definitely need to get another one, but there it is. So that's my new setup. I'll uh, wheel another one of these probably right over here. I'm going to do one there. So, Harry Potter seen it. Wow. I had an organizer like yours in the same racks. I killed them all very fast. <laughs> yeah, this one, this one here, I would not recommend this one. This I got this from Walmart also. Actually, my wife did when we first moved to, uh, when we first got an apartment this one's junk it falls apart all the time uh, but then again i think i overloaded it so this one's probably got to go remember when he sold yeah remember when i only sold electronics and someone told me to go to the thrift store and then look what happened uh i just throw hats in a blue tub okay that's another thing i could do i do have hat racks like i have so those are some new hats up there so i bought those from asd in vegas those are all the same hats so i try to keep them like that so they're easy to pull out but uh yeah i definitely need to fix that area so yeah mike i need to get back into buying liquidation i think i'm gonna uh, my goal is probably that i'll look at this week maybe this week that'll go go for me is to buy a liquidation lot but lately they've been way high so you just gotta play the waiting game i went to a benefit rummage sale everything was what you wanted to donate i picked up double rail clothing rack clothes hard goods I wish I would have had a pickup in a garage. Yeah, the we're we want to have our own garage sale. We probably should have one again. Do you know where to get multiple hats and boxes? Again, try liquidation.com. I'd go out there and look. Yeah, like electronics and liquidation are crazy right now. So you just gotta pick at the right spot. Hey Glenn, what's going on? So that's all I had tonight organized by team darren has a ton of hats 170 hats holy cow so i'll get i'll give you an update tomorrow of what uh um more lots I, or racks i can get i'm gonna get all this stuff listed uh hopefully I get some more sales i'll show you what's sold tomorrow 
And let's see, we're coming up on the end of the month, so we're going to have a uh, goal show again, probably end of the week. So next week we'll do a uh, September goals. You guys want to think about what you want to change? I do like the one return list five items. That's awesome. Uh, but, yeah, start thinking about your goals, guys. Get them written down, and we'll talk about them this weekend. Thanks for coming on. Hopefully you get more sales tonight, get some stuff shipped and listed, and then uh, start the week strong. All right, guys, thanks for coming. We'll talk tomorrow. See you.